Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I decided that I'm gonna do another story time. And this one's kind of a good one because it affected who I am as a person and it has changed me as a technician for possibly the rest of my career. Now, uh, I was gonna bring up some other videos and uh, I had some really good ones planned out, but um, I'm kind of upset about some stuff that's going on at work and I don't want to really tread off the path and maybe say something I shouldn't. So anyway, um, I mentioned this story to somebody today and I thought, you know something? That is something that somebody really needs to hear. So I'm going to tell you guys the story. The story involves me and another technician, we'll call him Mr. K. And Mr. K was a big dude. He would be probably the, the first black biomed that I've ever worked with. He's probably one of the coolest technicians I ever worked with as well. Mr. K invited me to go with him to try and figure out a problem with an IP address slash AE title on a unit that he was trying to get connected to PAX. See, Mr. K did x-ray equipment and I specialized in a lot of computer-based stuff. So, kind of worked out. Well, Mr. K and I, we were on site for about four to five hours, and during that time, this orthopedics, orthopedics clinic, I guess you could call it, they were down and they couldn't connect to PAX for four to five hours. And during that time, uh, we tried multiple configurations and we just couldn't get it to work. The AE title wouldn't register and it seemed to be rejecting the IP address. And we were working with IT over the telephone constantly. Mr. K has a better temper than me. Um, like I said, he was a very cool dude and he was able to handle his composure. Now I knew something was wrong, absolutely wrong, because when you try and ping the IP address, I was getting pings even when my device wasn't connected, and I knew something was going on, and IT was absolutely ins insistent that everything was correct, that they had sent to me in an email. So finally, after about five hours, we got on the phone with the IT people, and we said, you know something? We just need to start over from scratch, completely from scratch. I deleted all the settings on this device and I read them off piece by piece to the IT team and I had them confirm it. Well, when I got to the IP address, the IT guy goes, oh, wait a minute. And then he says, hold on guys. And I heard some, tick, 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 some keyboard going on it. And in about 15 seconds, he says, there you go, it should be working now. Mind you, this took us about five hours and they were very insistent. In fact, they were almost going to my director because they were very upset that we kept calling them back. So anyway, uh, that solved it. The unit connected right up to PAX. It worked excellent. And then we went back home, back to our, our shop at the hospital. So anyway, when we got back to the hospital, one of the things that we had to do is tell our boss exactly what happened because this wasn't supposed to take so long. And mind you, it took two of their senior biomeds out of the picture for half a day. Well, then a doctor called up and he was very upset that his clinic was down for half a day. Sometimes that's just the way it is, especially when you don't control any of the information. What basically happened from there on is uh, my boss brought me in and asked for my version of what happened. And <laughs> thank you for the music. When I told him what happened, uh, we then called the IT people and they confirmed what happened. But my boss still continued to be kind of upset and uh, he didn't take what I said or what the IT people said into regard and he still can he still wrote mr. K up he wrote him up because they were down and it just doesn't make sense as a biomed it doesn't make sense I mean <clears throat> everybody makes mistakes but something was going on why wouldn't you take two biomeds opinions of what happened and the IT who admitted to being at fault 
and just go with it. But he still got written up. And it just didn't make sense to me. And that's when it kind of hit me. See, guys, the problem is, is that some people do have a political or racial bias. And no matter what, some people, no matter how good of a person you are or how good of a job you do, some people just have it in their soul to try and drag you down. And the reason I tell you guys that this has changed me as a person and changed me as a technician is because in the military, we were all treated equally worthless, you know? <laughs> uh, and then when you, this was my first civilian job after I got out of the military, and here was my boss who just had something against this technician, and I just couldn't quite figure it out. But I, I very much so did figured out and it's very unfortunate but mr. K he kept a very positive attitude about it regardless he ended up moving here to Texas which I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out where he's at um, but I've called him uh, and I've kept contact with him and I told him that I cannot believe that that was happening mr. K left a couple weeks after this incident and I left a couple weeks after that I changed I moved on. I became uh, head of biomed department at another hospital and from there I moved on to take over the operating rooms at another hospital. And my career has just accelerated from there. So it did change me as a technician because I might still be in the same spot. But because I did not like what happened to Mr. K, I quit my job and I moved on. and. It's very unfortunate. One of the most unfortunate things I think I've ever seen in my entire career uh, is somebody that's just definitely uh, trying to drag somebody down. But it does happen, guys. So be vigilant. Stick up for those that can't stick up for themselves. And sometimes you got to take a stand, and that might mean leaving your job and going someplace else. Hope you guys have a good afternoon. Thanks for listening.